New MGZS SUV 2017 Review The MGZS is coming to the UK but it won't be called the ZS when it arrives. Let's see if it's any good. Verdict 3 Star On first impressions the MGZS is shaping up to be a commendable addition to the crossover market. It prioritizes comfort over dynamic prowess and for a car destined for urban life, that's a wise move. Its success hinges on getting the pricing right and attractive PCP offers. If MG can bring the ZS to market packed with kit while undercutting all of its rivals as it has promised, the rest of the package will be difficult to ignore for cost-conscious buyers. Before MG gets to the exciting business of launching an all-electric sports car, it first needs to deal with the bread and butter of any mainstream product range, crossovers and subs. The ZS name has yet to be confirmed, but this compact SUV is MG's take on the Nissan Juke and Peugeot 2008. And ahead of the car landing in UK dealers before end of the year, Auto Express has been granted early access to see if this car can help rejuvenate the once iconic British brand. Backed by Chinese parent company SAIC, MG has made sure the ZS has all the ingredients required of a small and successful crossover. There's a punchy and efficient 1.0-liter turbo engine, plenty of standard equipment, and a price tag that should put the cat amongst the pigeons. UK specs won't be finalized until much later in the year when that all-important name will be revealed but MG bosses are confident that a top-spec ZS will undercut mid-level rivals such as the Ford EcoSport by up to 20 percenter. Most of the kit in our top-of-the-range Chinese spec test car is likely to feature for that price, too. This includes an 8-inch touchscreen, SAT NAV, an electric sunroof, cruise control, alloy wheels, a reversing camera and keyless start. The cabin is also a big step up in terms of design, quality, and fit and finish especially when compared to the existing GS. A lot of the plastics on the dash and center console are hard and a bit scratchy, but at this price point that's to be expected. It does feel well screwed together and built to last, unlike the cabin in its larger sibling, the GS. The overall ergonomics of the cabin are a big improvement, too. The dash isn't littered with buttons and the new 8-inch touchscreen is bright and clear. Admittedly, the Chinese interface on our car isn't a reflection of what we'll get in the UK, but if the setup we get is as slick as the system we tried then it'll be a big improvement over what MG offers on current models. Under the bonnet, MG's new 1.0-liter 3-cylinder turbo provides the shove. It develops 124 bhp and 170 nm of torque but being paired with a sluggish six-speed auto doesn't flatter what is otherwise a punchy and smooth engine. We expect a manual to be offered as standard when the car goes on sale in Britain. Our time with the ZS was short and restricted to SAIC's proving ground outside of Shanghai, China. But one thing that immediately stands out is the ZS's comfort-based setup. It hangs on well through fast changes in direction, but there's a lot of body roll to go with that. On the flip side that does mean a soft and compliant ride, so the ZS should fare well in urban environments where it will probably spend most of its time. The ZS also squares up to its rivals pretty well when it comes to practicality. The wheelbase is around 80 mm longer than that on a Nissan Juke, meaning rear passenger room is much more generous. The boot isn't huge, but MG claims a 1,166 liter load bay. VS the Juke's 1,189 liter boot, with the 60,40 split fold rear seats flat. It's not the most usable shape either, as prominent load lip and step with the seats dropped will cause trouble when trying to load larger items. Key Specs Model, MG ZS 1 ton exclusive. Price, £15,000, EST. Engine 1.0 liter 3 CYL turbo. Transmission, 6 speed auto, front wheel drive. Power slash torque, 124 bhp slash 170 nm. 0 to 62 miles per hour, 11s.
Economy, 48.7 MPG. On sale, late 2017.